Bomb for a look outside a little closer to home. Dave, how bad is this fog right now? It's pretty rough. Visibility near zero for much of the area. Warm and humid weather, uncharacteristic for January for us. And we have that here. Live look, Tuscaloosa can barely see uh, from the Barron Critical Weather Institute camera there. And even from our BJCC camera downtown, can barely even see downtown here, where temperatures are currently coming in 59 degrees. The dew point matching that with the southeasterly winds. And that's why we have light winds giving us the fog. Visibility around zero at Birmingham's airport there. Back to Jasper. Haleyville, Coleman area, one mile gats in Tuscaloosa, Alex City near zero. Go online and check your flights too. Usually the planes can take off in the fog, but landing sometimes can cause some delays, so be careful of that. Visibility here at Future Cast will show by 7 a.m. around a tenth of a mile, and that's about it. But as we go forward here on into a little later this morning, visibility improves, and that's good news for us. We do have the dense fog advisory for everyone until 10 o'clock this morning. Temperature wise, anywhere from the mid 50s to around 60 degrees, 55 Talladega, Anderson to 59 here. Alabaster 58, Tuscaloosa, Fayette, Jasper, all in the 60s right now. And again, when you get rid of the fall, we're still dealing with cloud cover aloft, and we'll see plenty of clouds, maybe a few peaks of sunshine today. Weather warm front to the north, subtly winds are pumping up all that warm, humid air. But notice to the west, there is our next weather maker, this cold front, and that's going to continue tracking its way closer to us. And as it does, it's going to spark off some strong to severe storms to our west here, and that's where we do have a risk for some severe weather out there as we begin our day today. So we do need to be aware that. You can see some rough conditions coming in a little later on. You can see there from Memphis area through about Jackson, Shreveport, and into Little Rock, that's where there's a level two risk. But notice the level one risk for our area here. This is going to occur after midnight tonight, likely with some of these storms come in. Some could have gusty winds, maybe some hail, and there's a Small chance for a tornado out there. It's not zero, so that's why we're mentioning it here. But the threat is going to be very low for all of those features, just that level one risk for us as we go forward here. So let's time it out for you. 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. over western Alabama, Moundville, Tuscaloosa, Fay, back to Jasper area. Midnight to 4 a.m., Alabaster, Birmingham, Asheville, back to Gadsden. And roughly 3 a.m. to about 7 a.m. for eastern part of Alabama for Anderson, back to the Alex City area. No severe weather expected there, but potential does exist here from I 65 to the west, albeit. Very low. So, future cast will show we do warm up here uh, into the mid 60s by lunchtime. Pretty dry out there. A couple showers possible this afternoon. You can see really hit or miss Friday. That's about it. We'll get in the lower 70s today. Very breezy weather out there this evening as well into the mid 60s. And there's that storm line of storms coming near Hamilton near midnight and then in toward Birmingham as we get to 3, 4 o'clock in the morning from Coleman area back to Tuscaloosa. Again, strong, possibly severe storms there. Pushing through by 7 a.m. already to south of Lineville to Alex City. And we're we're starting to clear out. We'll have some clear skies by 10 a.m., if not sooner, and then back to the upper 60s near 70 by tomorrow afternoon. Then it turns colder heading to Friday morning as we start off with temperatures there into the 30s. And we are going to be windy out there today by 4 o'clock, wind gusts near 30, and potentially near 40 mile per hour wind gusts by 10 o'clock tonight. So be careful of that into early tomorrow morning. Have multiple ways to get those weather alerts that'll wake you up if needed. Then you'll see drier weather Friday, rain returns Saturday, and especially Sunday. That's going to be the wettest day of the weekend.